Have you ever wondered what living someone else's life might be like? Well, I'll tell you. I live that life every single day. My name is A, and each day I wake up in a different person's body. Today, I'm Justin. People would think it's scary to be someone else, but in reality, it's just the same daily cycle. You wake up and play the game of life as normal. I've always lived this way, and it's still interesting nonetheless. You learn a lot from so many aspects of life. Well, except school, perhaps. I've learned enough from there anyway. At the end of a long day, I like to relax at home, get used to surroundings, and typically look around on websites online. I usually like Facebook, a lot of news and information are found on there. After that, it's back to sleep before the next day begins, so I can move on to the next person in my life. Same life, same process, different person. Every day. Today, I'm Ben. There's only so far I can actually go to change bodies at a time, so I'll be stuck in this town for a little while. Life feels very relaxed here though, so I reckon things will be laid back. Or so I thought. Today, I'm Nathan. Nathan is a good guy at heart, though seems to be a bit rebellious. Today doesn't feel right. Everything just seems out of place and not normal. I hope it's not a proper issue though. I've already had two days in this town, though something just really doesn't feel right. Something's really wrong. Today is not going to be a good day. And to make matters even worse, his best friend Zack has appeared. Hey, how are you so doing, much buddy? for trying to isolate not myself bad. today. Slaving away of my history coursework as usual. Oh, you may as well be learning about the slave trade, am I right? Again, with Nathan. What the hell is happening with Nathan's body? Uh, you're right. Uh, why can't I move? I'll uh, uh, see you later. I have a feeling today is not going to end well. Whatever's been going on today certainly isn't normal. I've never experienced this in my life. This is really starting to work. Not again. It feels like something's fighting against me. Nathan, what are you doing? <laughs> Freddy was quite a blank person overall. The same expression every day. Hardly any emotion shown. Perfect to hide myself away in today. So what was happening yesterday? I felt like I was losing control of Nathan's body so much. But that kind of thing has never happened before. Perhaps he was still present? No, no, that can't have been possible. Everything will be alright, I expect. Just when I thought this evening was going to be peaceful, everything went wrong again. I got a message on Facebook from the one person I didn't want to talk to right now. Nathan. I must have still been logged in yesterday when he ejected me. But ironically enough, he remembered everything. He was conscious when I was in his body. He knows everything. Ah well, he can't hurt me anymore. Let's just hope I'm out of this town soon, then I can forget about it entirely. For the meantime though, 
let's get back to the normal routine. Let's see who we've got for tomorrow. I haven't even woken up yet, and today already feels so wrong, but I don't know why. And then I realize, today, I'm Zack, Nathan's best friend. Shit. Today was already problematic. I had to avoid Nathan, no matter what. I tried isolating myself the whole day, stuck in the same room. And then he found me. Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Uh, right, let's not. Got a letter back from the police. They're gonna go ahead with the investigation on the demon. A demon, he says. Is, is all this really necessary? This is a, this is a demon we're dealing with here. Mm. This demon is going around possessing people, spreading his evil Shut ways. Shut up, Nathan. Just ruining people's lives. Hey! Don't talk about me like that. I've just made a terrible mistake. <laughs> It's you again, isn't it? You've possessed Zack now. He's really pissed off Who now. are you gonna take next? Oh shit. Please forgive me for this, Zack. He knocked Zack's body unconscious, forcing me to be ejected. Being separated from your body is terrifying to experience. A lost soul, trapped in a black void of nothingness. Nothing to see. Nothing to hear. Just black. Who knows how long time must pass in this emptiness. And suddenly, I'm awake again. Black clothing. Band posters. Jacob was definitely some kind of metalhead. Nathan's already put the story across every headline, it seems. Newspapers, on articles online. Where hasn't he put it? The whole world's gonna find out now. Is there anything I can do? No, not anymore. There's no use doing anything anymore. There's only one final thing that I can do. This will judge my future forever. Today was a big change of plans. Only a small one for Elliot's day, but for me, an entire change of the time. It's the start of a present that has both a past and a future. For the first time in my life, I ran. Oh, to be so shy.